Hey guys, I'm going to be reviewing today Antonio Di Natale's Hero card. Uh, packed him about 10 days ago in the Guaranteed Hero upgrade and he is phenomenal. 4 star, 4 star. Can play striker, centre forward and left wing and that is very key. Being a striker and being able to play on a wing is amazing. Uh, his pace is fantastic. His finishing is absolutely cracked. His passing is very good. Not spectacular, but you know he's a striker. His dribbling is what makes him stand out. His dribbling is absolutely incredible. I, I haven't found many players that can move the way that he does. And he's pretty strong with it as well, so he can hold his own. He's coming in with the finesse shot trait, the flare trait, the outside of the foot shot trait, and team player. Team player is a key one as well. I've noticed that team player seems to make the player give their all. Uh, they don't back down. They don't get knocked about easily. Uh, they do really give their all for the team, as it would suggest. So, quite a long compilation here of uh, all different aspects of his game. Um, from penalties to to standard goals to wonder goals to assists to great bits of dribbling and great bits of play uh, he's absolutely fantastic when I was uh, compiling the footage for this it was non-stop if I scored four goals in a game he would have four contributions in a game if I scored five he would have five I didn't notice it all the time obviously I knew he was one of the best on the pitch if not the best but I didn't notice to begin with that he was contributing to everything So you'll see that Di Maria scored a wonder goal, but that was all down to the hold up play and the dribbling from Di Natale on the wing. That finish is just absolutely broken. The goalkeeper cannot stop it. It's absolutely incredible. And the amount of times he gets clean through on goal by just piercing through two defenders is ridiculous. Just look at that first touch and that movement, absolutely phenomenal. And then he's got the composure to just finish it nice and calm. Uh, there's so many players where you, you do the same thing as you would with, say, a Di Natale, but you do it with, like, who can, who can I say? You do it with, say, uh, Darwin Nunez. You do exactly the same thing. You press the joypad exactly the same way. They might have the same fin finishing stats doesn't work the same way it's like because he's a hero card he's got that extra special something Now, Di Natale this year is coming in at around 389k, I think it is at the moment. Uh, last year, I'm pretty sure he was 700 to 800,000 most of the year um, because I really wanted him. I ran a Serie A team all last year um, and I really wanted him, but I wasn't willing to pay that sort of, of, of money. Um, to be perfectly honest, if he played anything like he has done on FIFA 23 for me, He's he's worth that money. That that three hundred and ninety k is 
It's a drop in the ocean compared to what you get from him. I think I've taken around five penalties with him uh, and obviously penalties on this game you know you, they're not difficult but it's still about luck whether the keeper is going to guess the right direction or whatever but he seems to hit them so hard that even if the keeper goes the right way he doesn't save them uh, I think I've had five penalties and he scored all five that for a finish on his weak foot absolutely phenomenal the four star weak foot his weak foot definitely feels like a five star weak foot uh, I have no concerns about shooting with his left foot from whatever distance or angle You can see then on that penalty, he hits them like a rocket. He held his run there nicely. That's a 88, 88th minute equaliser. Could that footwork and left footed finish again. Goalkeeper doesn't stand a chance. The ball's just gone straight through him. Perfect pass. Smaller egg hitting it like a, a bat out of hell. So he lost the ball there, but look at the run that he's just made. We won the ball back, the run, the chip. What a finish. Chip with his left foot just like on his right earlier on. As I say, I have no concerns about shooting with his left foot from whatever angle, whatever type of shot. It just feels exactly the same as his right foot to me. As you can probably see, I'm pretty good at chip shots. These reverse passes and uh, quick passes in behind uh, that he keeps putting in. It's just allowing my players like Di Maria and Griezmann to just just have a free shot at goal, basically. And I don't think that's anything special that I'm particularly doing because these are the things that I would do with any other card in those positions. But it just works so much better for Di Natale. Well, 
So, very long video. As I say, he was involved in everything. Uh, I understand if people don't want to watch this many highlights. Um, but obviously, if you do, you know, a lot of people like to try before they buy. I want to know everything about a player before I, I paid that sort of coin for them. Um, you're getting to see everything here. I am not the greatest player of FIFA in the world. Not by any stretch of the imagination. I'm quite an old school sort of FIFA player. Uh, I'm not into all the crazy skills and running down the wing constantly and just squaring the ball. I like to score nice goals. I like to... I like to do nice, beautiful football, ticker tacker, build up play, the old style of uh, Barcelona, the old style of Arsenal. Uh, that's what I like. Uh, so you can see in this video, if you're not the best FIFA player, if you are a conventional player like me, uh, he is definitely the player for you. If you are still here, and this is a long amount of highlights for you, there's a summary at the end if you uh, wish to skip to that um, and I'll explain all of my thoughts on it. Um, this is probably the longest review video that I've done purely because he's been so impactful on my team. Uh, I don't know how I can take him out of my team. I think even team of the year players probably won't have this sort of impact in my squad. challenge that was required and now passing it through oh could be a chance and that's the hat-trick this is a decent looking attack here a goal how about that he's giving the ball away is on the supporters want to see him have a go oh tremendous goal for netting it into the back of the net take a bow well let's look at this again and what a cheeky finish this is but also a very good one because it's probably the only way he can score from there it... Antonio Di Natale tidy ball from Di Natale Interesting. Could be. Oh, they've done it. They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gets them victory. In a two all. Useful looking ball. Oh, there it is. Incredible. How about that for Johnson? And fired over by. Angel Di Maria, not really the ideal clearance. Di Natale. Can he finish? And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, how about this? Four. Broly. A real opening now.
and you won't get tired of watching this. The improvisation, the skill, and the end product. What a goal that is. And they get the ball rolling again with the old boy right back in this contest. He's in here. Dano. A really sumptuous ball. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Being pressed hard. Di Natale. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well. Mateus. Di Natale. On attacking possibilities. to work with and the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute Ronaldo oh managing to beat him no shortage of excitement level again Brolin can he put them in front yes is the emphatic answer Natale, can they take the lead here? And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebration. The complaint continues. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. This to make it 1-0. And slot it home. Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. He's not closed down quickly today. He could score one of those special goals that he's oh, known wait, for. Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score. And now it is there for him. There it is. And he could scarce. Pele. Oh, managing to beat him. And a goal from Pele. So the ball. Giannazinho. So here's my summary guys, current price is 389k, as I say I think that's an absolute steal. Overall rating, I've never given these scores to any other player so far on this game. 5 stars for overall rating, 5 stars for fun, 5 stars for value. Similar cards for me would be mid push gas. He feels very similar to him, I would say he feels like a mix of push gas and how messy he used to be before FIFA nerfed his pace. He's played 95 games for me, 44 goals, 41 assists. A lot of those games have been on the left wing, uh, where I have moved him round to do reviews of other players. Uh, so he's still been in the team, but not quite as impactful as when he's a striker. He's definitely a striker, definitely play him at striker. And engine is the best chem style in my opinion for him. Uh, it ju just jacks up some of his uh, dribbling stats that are a bit low. Uh, Hunter and everything else I didn't like, he didn't feel the same engine every time one of the best players I've ever used average rating of 7.8 9 for passing, 9 for finishing 7 for physical and for a small player like him that's absolutely fantastic 9 for dribbling and 10 for meta this guy is absolutely meta he could quite easily be classed as a FIFA rat um, he's, he's that good He's unstoppable when he gets going. And when you figure out how to use him, it's amazing.